Well, hello there. Welcome back. We're live. It's another episode of Detective Man. God damn it. I went the wrong way. I'm still going the wrong way. Let's go. Everyone has their vices. Run. Quick. We gotta. We gotta do something. Somebody's been shot. Um, son of a bitch. Shit. I got the wrong way. Shit. That way. Okay. That way. See? I know where I'm going. I'm not very good at this. Get in, loser! Okay, I'm not tangled. I'm good. We're fine. Oh my god, get in the car! We've got a murder to solve! Okay, let's go. <laughs> my patience for this guy. Parker and Green are going toe to toe for the top job. There's a change in the wind. About time. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a I, puritanical I haven't felt any wind today. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. It's been a nice cool day, to be honest. Well, it's it's been a hot day. A warm day, I should say. Not hot, but it's been fairly warm. A bit too warm for me. I like it warm, but not too warm. Ooh, nice. So hopefully this time I don't be heavy handed and push the stick in. And then start my sirens. Then we get caught by everybody because that's what we do. Okay. Kowski. Phelps. Back yep. again. We're here about yes. the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non com in my old unit. Uh, he knows him. Point. Waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get okay. this, they used to be in a four piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no piece. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. He thinks he's funny, don't he? Too. I'll keep her company. Punk. You should not be work together. Very sad. Just pumped a dozen rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. What are you? What is up? Are you walking into the the wall? You never know. Dun dun. It's nice, kind another of like day, another dollar. Something buzzed. Just check. Because you never know. Hello, lady. Necessary? We don't know. I feel like we've done this a thousand times before. Although it's like every single case. But still. Quick. Well maintained custom case. Another day, another document. That click. <gasps> Something clicked. Oh my god. The, trick. the case must have cost more than the trumpet. We should follow up on the musician angle. The blue room. Syringe. Kept his stash close at hand. Dun, dun, dun. Just when I think I've seen it all. I wonder. Yes, it's an instrument. Mm. 
Pizza. I wonder. Just get your fingerprints on everything possible. Because that's what we do here. You never know when you need to just put your f fingerprint on all of the crime. Oh, we source. Or is this coming from what's left in circulation? No, no, I didn't want that. Just in case I didn't read it the first time. The back. A dozen packs to a carton, hundred cartons or more. Looks like Whoop. a couple of months' supply. It's kind of frisbee around. Another evidence that I need to put my finger on. Fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. I don't think you'd find He's a bear in here. He sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? I mean, you might. But... Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. We should. Another day, another dollar. Another day, another dollar. They didn't even try to crack the safe. Didn't even crack the safe? Bad luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city. Nothing in your pockets. Oh, just... Is that a cross? Touch it. Nothing bad here. Okay, I think. Just when I think I've seen it all. When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again. Okay. I'm gonna talk to the lady. Ma'am, I'm Hello. Detective Phelps, administrative by squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Thanks. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. She welcomed me. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. Was it though? If I'd been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. Shifty eyes. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you? This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting the picture? I got, I got the picture. Yeah, thank you. Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. Okay. So where do you Not shifting. That's good. My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help. Thank you. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent. I think we're good to go. Bye. We 
gotta go to the blue room. How well did you know the owner? Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. Ah, straight there. That's good. Hey, doll. People call women dolls. Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lichtman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about you just want to know where the morphine's coming from. Something on Biddleston and Bo, or their knucklehead buddies Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries on the stone floor. I've told Bless you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Boy, how about you get a drink while I see to this? Yeah, grab grab yourself a drink. Yeah, calm the nerves. Will you sit down? Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. Yes. Right. Why are you lying to me? <laughs> I haven't even asked you a question yet. But why are you lying? Okay. Morphine. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. You can do this the She's easy bad. way with me, or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Yes. Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, black man buys. Thank you, sir. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't lie to me. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Oh, a private word, you say? Why do you ask people to be talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against Nagobi? It's not yes. my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better well, place. Well, you're doing a sh Wait, shit words. job about it. <laughs> <laughs> This time of day, you'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. The Macambo? Something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. You know exactly what he's gonna do. A sly old dog. God damn. You hope to gain out of this, so hmm. Don't 
You dare run into me, don't you dare. You're not, you're right there. I can see the cab from here. What a bloody cheat. How rude. How rude. bit light of a night to be asking uh, questions, isn't it? Holding an interrogation. He's not a very good detective then, is he? Because, you know. He was being followed as well, and he clearly didn't. Clearly didn't see he was being followed himself. And in yesterday's clothes too. Jesus Christ. LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which no. table? Number three, if you'll follow me. Thank you. that goddamn waitress LAPD so we have some questions Hi, regarding Mickey. how's it hanging fine just fine Roy I see you brought Iga Beaver along hope he's not gonna put the shakes on me again Cole Phelps Mickey Cohen good afternoon <laughs> he has manners yeah aren't you a little green for this kid me Johnny Stompanato Cole he has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun or maybe that's the other Ooh. way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy. Talking Roy. about his manhood. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star up on Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something <laughs> like that? All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? You're gonna stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold. We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Beating the meat. Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. Oh my god. You're gonna keep lying to me. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the ship. I will punch a fool. Lenny. God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit. I don't condone it. A simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. That's what I'm asking in these questions, isn't it? Shooting. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS. Oh my god, hi. <laughs> Welcome. Shot to death Thank you for the follow. I wouldn't know anything yes. about that. We're going to yeet our way through this town. 
Well, the amount of times I keep crashing, happened, crashing my car, I'm surprised I haven't yeeted I out the... We're trying. We're trying. <laughs> I haven't it's hit business. hard enough yet. I, can attest to that. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Get out of the life. But we'll see. Quickly. How are you today? I hope you're well. The we'll never make I hope you're good. But we had a judge in Pasadena say out of Where are we going next? Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendricks like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'm supposed to know I'll ask name. around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We'll take a rain check. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright that easy. <sighs> we'll see. They're right on it. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. That fucking rat stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is LA's most famous map. Who everyone is knows Brenda? It? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Fours have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. And we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician well, in America is against I'm prostitution. sure after a little bit of rest. Using them. So where to start and a nice hot tea. You'll be feeling time. right as rain. Yeah, and that's the problem. That, I mean, I'm, I'm not like, you know, doctor or, or anything, but doctor's orders. Well, or should I say detective orders. Hot tea. You'd be good. Aren't you supposed to be working, uh... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. Okay. This way. Oh. So you have to put that down too good. Your secretary. Harry. You got a minute? Hi. Sure, Cole, any time. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys... It's inside job. Isn't it always an inside job? What else job? was taken apart from the morphine? A case of BARs, a case of Thompsons, a crate of Valor smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. Oh, no kid. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. No kid. Here it is. So, how do we connect Ooh. the box robbery to the mess at the 111 club? Oh, I get you. I understand. I understand. This I'm very sorry to hear that. But hey, you're here. We're going to have a good time. This is our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. And I will try my best to liven up to your spirit. Companies. As we do. <laughs> Half a million surrettes loose on the streets of LA. Half a million. Some of these guys are from my old unit. They must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon, but Goldrick. The Goldrick was on the boat. Sure, we checked him out. Goldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brain Hi, all Mr. Weather. Oh, like we didn't only just get start. We've been going for about Dragner, Cohen, 25 minutes so far. Detectives, KGPL's going we, to we're, we're working good case. Fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic bus. They want every car. Go. No, oh, don't make me wrong. Cause I don't know where the exit is. No, that's okay. Go, go, go. I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. Um, we're gonna go to a bus shooting. That's what we're gonna have a good time with. No, I'm really sorry. We're gonna go. Will you get in the car? Thank you. 
but this part doesn't crash. Ooh. Not you. How are you today, Mr. Wazzo? Don't crash into me. I hope you're well. Do 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 do. I'm on my way. Alright, cut for. No, no, this is gonna get me. Full of chicken. Well, that sounds very fun. I missed my turn. Go this way. Oh shit, where's the bomb? I think I've... I took the wrong turn. I definitely took the wrong turn. Oh yeah, the mark got it. Go. Parked. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. I mean, yeah. It's true. I'm like so good at getting lost. Oh, man down. And um, run, run! Just took my hat off. Oh, you you think that? But they just keep going. It's all about this thing. Get over. Go, go, go. LAPD, drop the gun now. Oh, yeah. I see you do it. Not the first way. Just ignore that. Yeah, we you don't you don't very much see that, do you? Like a, an enemy going, wait, I've got no ammo. I need to switch. Okay, I got my app back. That's a good thing. It's one of the BARs. One of the bras. Sorry, sir. But I kind of have to. Phone number and restaurant table. Table number three, that's where we just was talking to the man. I was just I, I get it, okay, please. Put the book back there. Okay. Nothing. We did it. <laughs> At least it kind of fast travels you back then. Though. I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship. His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain. Oh my goodness. Chico. 
Who's the judge? Well, she's not a detective. We're a detective. Right, no, she's not a detective. We just want to find out what happened. <laughs> I've never watched that Daredevil. That, someone mm -mm. took a shot at my bus. And the cops turn up and start treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. Heist. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. Shifty. I was down at the 111 club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner. Yeah, don't to don't try and be detective if you can't. If you don't the have the detective skills. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. It's a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. Mm -hmm. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? <laughs> I mean, that's why I'm asking you. The dead like, guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. Your name was in the sniper's notebook. Level Rude. with me, Felix. Cohen thinks because we were on the boat, we have the more. Courtney's meeting those guys to sort it out. <laughs> Courtney Sheldon? <laughs> Yeah. You remember Sheldon, don't you, Cole? We'll be in touch, Felix. You okay. heard that Jack Thank you. I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. It's not connected to me. Sure glad to I see didn't do nothing, room. okay? I mean, it wasn't me. Detective. I promise. <laughs> Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. Not for a hot minute. You could have told me I needed to use the. F he is. He really is the true hero in this. Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty-seven. How can I help, detective? How can I help, detective? <laughs> I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Ooh, North heavy Central rain. Avenue, Thank you. I've I've seen it be played. I haven't played it myself, but I feel like it could be a game that I could possibly possibly get into. I feel like I've got to talk to this man. Oh shit. Definitely Jack me. Was a company sergeant. He would never I get like involved that. in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. He's a tough customer. It's like that, um... Beyond Two Souls as well, isn't it? I know that was... Sort of the same sort of... Style. Deep at me. I do like Detroit. I think that was a really good game. I play that so I think I play that more times than I've played this to be honest. It's a good game. See, now you're gonna make me Hey, we like detective stuff. No, because look, Jack. we've already got our next game planned out. Okay. Like to come inside. Actually, we prefer if you come down. We have our next game set and ready. Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. It could be. It could be something that I forget okay. and then be like, hey, did you ever play that? And I'm like, shit. I forgot. <laughs> But oh no, there's a but. Okay. Oh no, there's a but. 
Hi. Right. Morphine. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in LA trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more oh. of your life story. See, now I... the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. What yeah. happened? I could, I could get into it. A bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town. I could get into it. Between <laughs> the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. Um. McGoldock. Oh. Oh, okay. So it's you know a. Uh, McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. It's a. Uh, what's, it, what's the word? And you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last Con time. Consequences, that's it. Lots of consequences no, to your actions. Uh, arms stolen. Crate of VARs went missing? No, I didn't. I saw Felix Alvaro okay. today. Good. <laughs> That's it. Good. A little pale. Good. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 VAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus. In the public bus. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory, um, another promotion, another well, medal at the expense of... Looks like you need to play that country. again. <laughs> the problem is I'd end up, like, coming off the and then restarting it, because it's like, no, I need everybody alive. What I know is that on three separate occasions... Well, I guess that's why you do, like, multiple playthroughs. I don't know anything about the robbery. People are dying. Morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Yeah. Now we have I think I think the same thing happened when I played Detroit as well. We can put two and two I think I played Dad. that so many times to get the different endings. Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Why are you lying? Jack, just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Yes. Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with this $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. Which one? Thank like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. Detroit. I'm or... be working on it, keeping an eye on you. You can go. Now. Heavy rain. Oh, rain. Okay. <clears throat> Another name from the manifest? I don't actually know. I know it came out as like a bundle thing, didn't it? With um. How many more friends of yours are gonna get plugged? So get in the car. What are you doing out the car? Get in the car. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. I don't, I don't think there's ever been remastered. They just walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers, they went that way. Thank you. Go on, get after him. I'm a going, I'm a going. Shit. I thought that was... Move your stupid thing. Boobs. We're not, we can't play it then. I'm sorry. She can't, she can't play it. How did I crash on a hedge? I 
Can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. <laughs> and I'm, I'm joking. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. Then do a better job at it then. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. It's no good. We need to get closer. Tell cover. Exactly, you just shoot quicker. So you know, dweeb about it. Jeez. Yeah, I am the punisher. Dun dun dun. <laughs> exactly. I don't need no justice system. That's when we're in here. An LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. Why'd you put it back in his pocket? No, I didn't. meeting with Sheldon tonight. Hot damn. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. <sighs> dun dun. We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow And I'll cut to you in that last for like the whole administration. Play You've got to put a lid on the press. 16 years. Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily one. Stoker. Think we'll fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda oh, to leave oh. town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Man. Has it done? District attorney? Who is I don't know. Guy? And what does he want, Coral? Name's Roy Earl, detective. Roy Earl. It's him, isn't it? Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. Human interest. A certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids <gasps> down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD. Oh my. And his commitment to the public, we all serve. It'd be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. He dubbed me in. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. He dubbed me in. How dare he? Okay, we can't do nothing anymore. Let's go. So we don't trust people in this town. They're taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? How does that get them the dough? They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack. I knew he was gonna do that. This car cost me a fortune, you moron. Yeah, whatever. You dog me in, I'm crashing your car.
Yeah. But he didn't need to tell the nation that I I I went a, a German broad. Did he? Am I really this bad of a driver? Probably am. <laughs> oh, thanks. I really Step appreciate it. Go on then. Do your job. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. See that, all right. <laughs> well, no, they, they've just shot somebody in broad daylight, and we chased them. And it was clear what we had to do because they had guns on them, and we couldn't do the thing. They was going to shoot us before we shot them, so it was only fair that we shot them first. That's my side of the story. And I will say that in the court of law. Shit, I'm up to the wrong time. Any central units suspect to be taken into custody at Southern California Auto Club. Stand by for further No, sir, I don't have time. Some people are going to die. Look where you're going! I was reading the chat, shut up. <laughs> I think we'll rule some engagement. No, I, I don't. I don't think there's such thing as that. I must be honest. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Stop behind the car, don't be an idiot. Here I do. Pop, pop, pop it. Thank you. <laughs> See? Oh, listen to me. Tell Courtney. Tell Courtney what? Mm-hmm. 
We detected. Polar Bear Ice Company. They really did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? Detective is fun. Yeah, it could, it could be very fun. Do anything in his coat? No, okay, it's just on his own. Okay, let us um, search. Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. Why is these guys problems? Juski, Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll, these are good guys. Wrapped up in this thing. I believe that's it. Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. Is this area? Yes. Okay. So we're done here. Oh, and he's gone. Where are you going? This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. Nope. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. He's got a point. Look at that. Perfect. Didn't hit anything. <laughs> Makes it sound like it's a good thing. It's not a good thing. It's a bad thing. We should have hit something. Should have hit something. Alright, let's kill these red bastards. Just don't take my hat off. Keep moving, I'll cover you. No, these people couldn't to shoot. On the roof, call now. Exactly. He took my hat. I got my hat back. This whole, like the whole thing, is just like, where's my hat? Constantly getting my hat knocked off. Let's go. How do I get my book out? Let's go. We'll just leave all the dead bodies there, shall we? Do be do be do. Squeeze. Okay. 
<laughs> Almost. <laughs> so close. Roy, in my office. I'm working a major case. I'm not close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But Cap, no buts. This is more important. Is it? Is you gonna dob me in? Hmm. Like you have been doing the entire game. Hello. Sheldon. Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Of course it is. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the cool ridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. Of course he, he has is. A very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. Okay, people talk to you. asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. No. But there's a note. You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? We know about your showdown with Cohen. We found notes on your guys. Yeah, that's Cohen right. is hitting our own. He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it. And that's the truth. Is it though? Isn't it, Doc? I believe, Mr. Sheldon. I think he's telling the truth, Detective. But why did he lie to me in the first place? You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes. That's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. The, the confession So you from don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? Beckett had a message for you before he died. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame okay. them for taking their shot. Have you finished, Detective? I'm just Maybe. getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who exactly. goes to jail. I just want the Who cares about the morphine? You keep street. taking my hat off. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor. Good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty. Pending <gasps> the fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. All right, who did it? Who dobbed me in? You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on? You're suspended, Phelps. And of your badging gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising. Oh my god. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife. Your children. Consorting with the How enemy could and you the dope do? fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. They're just doing this because they've got heat on them. What the hell were you thinking?
Listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave. You're upsetting the girl. Yeah. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? Yeah, I Cole. Can we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? Oh. What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go on, love. Kick him out. Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney, and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Maria. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. Yes. Go on, Lord. <laughs> You're not going to pick up your, your your suitcase. Looks like you won't be going home anytime soon, idiot. Shouldn't have done it. I should have. You clearly don't love them. Home wrecker. <laughs> How could he? Mm. Been demoted. We are now on to arson. And it's not going to be a good time. People making houses go boom. It was him. He did it. Okay, everyone. Keep it down. Shut up. Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like porking that German whore, Phelps? <laughs> Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. Yes, sir. I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. Okay. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do okay. Have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap, we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps, can it, Tilden? Yeah, Tilden. I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. Hi, this Biggs. Is arson. There are no ropes. It shouldn't take long, then. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Then go to 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, Detective. We can Get do out it. Of here. Both of you. We can kick somebody's Get butt. Out. I'm going, okay? Uh, where's the exit? This way. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. See him? I saw his picture in the paper. Worked that case with a lady cut up like a dahlia. Let's go. Mister. Boop.
So you go here first. How long have you been working, Arson? We gonna do the small talk thing now? Talk baseball, exchange addresses? I don't think so. Right, continue Feeling to respond, down, man. hot shot? Need a buddy? I'll look somewhere else. It's an asking for a buddy. I was just so this is how it's going to be, partner? I already told you, I don't do partners. I seen you on your first day here, old. Walking into the station with your chest puffed out like a little kid at his... Oh my god, he's so mean! Uh, I'm sorry. It's not me who's the asshole, okay? The job's done it's not properly. me. You think it was deliberate? Nah, that's real pain in her face. Ooh. They would have moved out the things they care about if this was insurance. There's no mileage in this. Hello, Mike. I don't. Hey, hey. Cap this one. Yeah, Mike Brannigan, Cole Phelps. It's okay, Brannigan. His name may be dog shit, but there's none in his hand. No offense, Phelps. None taken. Do you have anything? The fire started late last night. Stefan's family at Catalina Island won some kind of competition. Oh like, my god. Okay. Lives. That's very interesting. I'd say Thank they were you. Pretty lucky, really. They don't have any insurance. Everything they own, including the house, is not a pile of rubble. Where are they sleeping? In the car. Look at the whole block that it burned down. Word is they're bulldozing this whole neighborhood to build new homes for GIs. That's the man in the house. In the ruins. Ladies, it wife. could be. We'll take a look around. Come on, Phelps. That's very good. Oh, it's Remember the, the fire people. Found under the train? Solved the case. <laughs> we can set Roy on fire. Could be something to go on. I think that would be a good idea. A very good idea. He was a jerk. He is a jerk. So. Up we go. Even though it's kind of not a lot here. What you got over there, buddy? I think we've done with all the clues. Not sure this means much. She's all just beeping at me. I should be used to this because there's no stain. Mr. Stevens? Hello, sir. Cole Phelps and Herschel Diggs, LAPD. I know it's a difficult time. Could we have a word? Don stuff. Hello, Don. You were out of town. We won a prize. We had a wonderful time. Came home to this. Do you still have the tickets? Sure. It's a formality, but we'll need to speak to the issuing agent. Well, it sounds bad to me. Travel competition. Can you tell me any more about the prize that you won, Mr. Stephens? Weekend at Catalina. No. My uh, so wife got this it is. in the mail from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're trying to bully people's houses off them. Did you enter any kind of competition? Biggs was no, being nice to that woman. Fire. He helped her off the ground. Like, how sweet was that? Uh, redevelop- Oh god, I've just crushed everything. Redevelopment. Redevelopment Did they offer to buy you out? They're building new houses. They showed their money and most of the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. See, that's what it's all about. But I never bargained. 
pay you off. Get the house. Dull work. Burn it down. Everyone else is selling. You don't look good. But you're the holdout, aren't you? I was the last. I thought I could hold out for a better price. Now my house is the center lot. I know you have to take the price regardless. Looks like it. I've got no choice. I have to put a roof over my family. That's all we need for the moment. Mr. Thank Stem. you, so. Alright. What's with him? You've seen the papers. I guess he's thinking about his own family. I'd say he's searching for some well, kind of atonement right now. He shouldn't have done it, should he? One, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? I need information on the Suburban Standard Redevelopment Washington. Fund. Yes, Detective. Just checking. How can I help, Detective? The fund is a semi-government agency established to speed up the building of GI homes. It has private investors as well as a government endowment. Huh. What's this? Do you have an address for them? There is one listed here. Thanks, ma'am. Thank you. He just walks away from me. Don't walk away. All right, she tell the car. <laughs> yes. If they had the mozzarella sticks, then yeah, they'd be like, let's go. But they don't. Um. Let's go to the next house fire. Have there been any other house fires? This is arson. We get an average of two a night. Does that answer your question? No. That was shit. Sh Hello. Hi, Albert. We've got this case. Hey, Biggs. We? You have a partner? What gives? This is Cole Phelps. You may have read about it. Oh, now I get it. Ah. Uh -huh. Hello, Phelps. Welcome to the netherworld of ours. Thank you. Family of four found dead in their beds. Peter exploded. Hey, another one? Looks that way. Insta Heat Model 7. Before you get excited, we get a couple of water heaters a month to go back. Do you though? Take a look around the yard and see what you can find. Um, I'm not sure. Oh no, I'm very sorry. Now, you gonna stick it out, Cole? We're gonna try, Mal. What have you got? 
family by the name of Sawyer. Mother, father, and two kids. All in bed from the looks of it. Uh, I'd say carbon monoxide poisoning. The burns are superficial. Time of death? I'd say about midnight. Anything more exact will take some time to determine. Lynch tells me this has something to do with a faulty water heater? Could be. There's been a spate of problems with a particular brand. I've got another... It's bad juju. Okay. Um. This is a murder and not an accident. Sharing information has helped us solve quite a few cases together. Oh. I need something concrete about it. Or the no, okay. I'm an arson for a reason. I feel sorry for your wife and kids, Phelps. Not for you. Okay. But you're a good case, man. One of the best I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. I'm just going to keep bringing up the fact that, you know. <clears throat> Oh, okay. Now I get it. I'll just let you... You know. Do the thing. <laughs> Still haven't played it to properly know. Will I ever play it? I don't know. Hey Biggs! Is this significant? Hey Biggs! Good find. Detectives? This is the next door neighbor. Hello. Detective Phelps. Can you help? They were supposed to be going away. They won a trip somewhere. But little Henry got sick, so they had to cancel. Oh, no. What are the chances? Do you know who ran the competition? Gulliver's Travel, up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks. You've been a big help. Thank you. Phelps, the guy across the street. I've seen him before. He likes fire. Oh. Hurry, you can still catch him. Thank you. Oh, right there. Kick his ass. Why didn't you kick his ass? Good. Thank you. I said kick his ass for a reason. What's your name? Herbert Chapman. Hi, Herbert. So you like fires? Some. Watching them were setting them. I don't want any trouble. Turn out your pockets. Well, you're gonna be in some if you don't talk to us. You're not in for aren't you, Herbert? I keep myself to oh myself. My. I'll keep that. Well, stick it in my pocket. Six minute delay. You want more time, you use a mosquito collar. Don't you, Herbert? Don't you like this fire, Herbert? Hell no. I heard it over the fire radio. Sounded sweet. So you I'm come here just to leaves. Come and see me at the fire Watch it. I have a theory about this. We'll do, Lynch. Take this guy in. We might want him for questioning later. You got it. Yeah. Why the questioning for this case? If it is murder, it's almost impossible to prove. Fire doesn't leave much evidence. There's no percentage in this. I think it's more than one case. There are house fires, coal, accidents, heater fires, gas explosions. There's got to be Maybe. a reason. The reason is you want to be a star again. Forget it. Give it up. You'll feel better. There's something to this. I know it. What are you talking about? Arson is insurance. It's always been insurance. We still what investigate the cases, Biggs. The people in this house are dead. Go soak your head, Phelps. This hero business is a full-time obsession with you. I'm going to make this case. Help me or stay out of my way. You got it? <laughs> oh, okay, touchy. Where are we going next? Something still here? Am I missing something? We can't leave if we don't have evidence. Or is it that? I'm very sorry. 
How about the insurance companies write these incidents up as acts of God? Are we done? Yes. Okay. In the first place. So we're going to the travel agency. Bye. Whoop. So it's not necessary. Thank you. Are you, are you my Siren might make this easy. Partner, no. You tell me what's what. It's very helpful. Thank you. Come on. I wasn't. I'm sorry. I wasn't looking. Trying to, you know, get my paycheck at the end of the month. <laughs> okay, let's go. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. John Cunningham. Hello, John. We have reason to believe that the Sawyer family of 4414 Rosewood Avenue recently won a competition run by your company. Yes, Do you think John's dodgy? Cancel the last minute. One of the kids was sick. Very unfortunate. Do you mind if I take a look at that? Of course. Go ahead. Here they are. Stefan. Sawyer family, Rosewood Avenue. Question time. Suburban development. Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It does There's stink a dodge, account. doesn't it? They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of LA. He's not looking shifty. So we'll give him that. Not a government agency? <laughs> Don't believe so. Government organizations don't usually get involved in promotions. Stop being dodgy with us. I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. You do a lot of these prizes. Well, look, there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. Nope, you're lying. You're lying well, the Sawyer to me. family were supposed to be at Catalina Island. Their house burnt down. You consider them lucky? Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. Are you though? Can you tell me who offered the prize won by the Sawyer family? Sure. Look, there's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw with hundreds of tickets. But the reality is, the Suburban Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me... It's to get them out the house. Thanks for your help. For it to be uh, burnt no down. Wish I could do something for that family. You could put round the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. I could tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you... Good man, Cunningham. Mm -hmm. You're all right. Yeah, I'm great. Poorer, but... Great. Okay, you you get in. Hello. 
Okay. Let me guess. You want to check out the suburban address? Maybe. Great partners must think alike. Or... Whoop. Don't hit me. Sorry. Excuse me. Away. No time for yawning. We got detective work to do. Cut it out. I didn't do nothing. Oh my god. No! He ran into me! He shouldn't have changed line the last second then, should he? It's, it's not my fault, okay? Don't... Don't be laughing. It wasn't me. <laughs> the big no! <laughs> registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the Redevelopment Fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work okay, to do. Okay, Mac. Thanks for your help. Elysian are investors in the Suburban Redevelopment. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're out of your mind. Lynch says we should visit him at Fire Station 32. Who exactly is this guy, Lynch? Lynch is a legend. You should feel privileged. He doesn't let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut, and you'll learn something about fires. Okay. I'll keep my mouth shut. Am I gonna do that, though? No. to solve and I can't keep my mouth shut. Oh, Jesus. Going on here. Some people just stopped. Okay. We came as soon as we could. Hello, sir. Lynch. Biggs, you two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Yes. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Okay. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. This the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Oh. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. I have a theory, 
And it's a theory only. A theory. I don't have enough evidence to prove We got to do some so science. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. No, oh, yes. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve and the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Okay. Now the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. Right. Something in the balloon. The gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's going to ignite. Yes. What's that one? Uh, yeah, you, you place the th you place the thing in the Your thing. Regulators in position. Shh, I got it right. Try and go boom. Okay, I'll light your pilot. And turn the gas. I think that's. You pull the lever on the. Try and go boom. <sighs> So that's how it's being done. Maybe there could be a fault with these valves. Well, I've adjusted this one for our fire station. Go boom. Take it to Insta Heat and see what they say. Just boo at the fire station. <laughs> North Harvard Boulevard, number two six two. Thanks, Albert. Thanks. See you at the next show. Let's go. Can we go in the the fire truck? Will you move? You can drive. Oh, okay. Show? Show. The next fire. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. All of them. You know this Chapman character? Guy's a freak. Loves fires. He's the kind of guy that would like for a lot of things. But we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. Maybe he isn't starting the fires. Maybe he is just watching from the shadows. Dun dun dun. <laughs> it's kind of like you. <laughs> just chilling. That's what you do. You know. To the man. Hi, lady. LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Ray Sick. You should find him in his office. Thank you. Heavens to Betsy! Are you drunk, New and improved model. They'll be selling these like hotcakes. Will they, though? Not if it comes out. Policemen in this city. That they're bad. What the hell? <laughs> oh, good Jesus. What, what the hell? Arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 7. It's, it's a, a look. it's a thing. We have a problem. This Do has we? Been tampered with. <gasps> what? Oh, shit. You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. It's been reversed. Oh, okay. It's a subtle change. Why didn't you just say that? It means the gas never closes off properly. Thank you. 
All right. Uh, model 70. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. You don't look very sure of yourself. You're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Look, we've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? <laughs> it's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe, either. Yeah. Not very good there, is he? Uh, history. Prone to failure. They, uh, tend to go after like he, he shouts at you, going, "I don't do this sort of thing. I only do facts." He's like, "But while we're on the subject, if we do a bit of science. I have a theory." Accused. I think you're lying, Rasek. I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. And how are you going to prove that, detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault. Well, you know, there's names on the inside of the boxes. What about Matthew Ryan? Uh, you know about Ryan. Huh? Oh, he's right. been in some trouble. He's been in some trouble, I know that. He's a bad guy. He's done his time. You in the habit guy. of hiring criminals, Rasek? Ooh. Need guys, detective. Well, thank this you. This is a once-in-a-lifetime <laughs> <I think>. opportunity. <laughs> I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Okay. I want Get the it. names. There, around a dozen of them. Housing business is going crazy at the moment. <clears throat> this is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. Maybe we are. I want to run it by R and I. Cross reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. Enjoy the darkness. Well, that's very weird, isn't it? Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. What can I help, Doctor? Take another step this way. Phelps, badge twelve forty-seven. I've got to stop saying that every time he answers the phone. I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, detective, run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Kuttner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Barley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. Did you get that? You need to, to go again. I should get that quick. Thanks. Charge for contempt of court, attempted murder. She's very Plea good. Bargain down to assault charge. Okay, anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by oh, Detroit shit. Police Department. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. Hot damn. Roster is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Rasick. Desperate times indeed. Do you have an address for Clemens? Yeah. He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and Third. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and First Street. Varley, where is he? Beverly and Mariposa, currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These well, guys I'm have lockers. going yes, to. Yes, they do, but my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? We might do, but Show. this is now Keep quiet. a charge. I can get you done for obstruction. I could save all year enough. Here. Happy now. Thank you. Stick around, Mr. Rasick. Clemens is a fellow traveler. Pom pom. Did you expect me to read all that? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's definitely the case.
So it's Orion who's dealing with this. Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. Ryan wants the world to be a better place, don't we all? It would be a better place if you didn't cheat on your wife. <laughs> Junk. <laughs> Junk. company went through thousands of these in the war. Still got eaten alive. Barley has a problem with bugs. I mean, maybe he does. Maybe he brought that and then put it in his locker so we could take it out. You know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Racy? No, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Mind if I leave you to it? I got work waiting. Sure. Three birds. Clemens, Ryan, Barley. Where to, Phelps? Where to, indeed? Somebody's doing the dodgy. I don't know who that is. Uh. Right. We shall go to Clemen. Excuse me. Over. <laughs> Idiot. He hit me. Shut up. Hello, sir. Do you have a moment to talk? Bigs, LAPD. We want some answers and we want them quick. Okay, okay. What's this all about? Just tell me what you want. Volley. You know Reginald Barley? No? Can't say I do. <sighs> Stop lying to me. Do those you kickbacks from some developers. Suspects. Does their work first. It spreads around if you can. Employment. You're licensed and work for Instaheat? I contract for them. So what? Instaheat hires so artists, shifty. does it? I've worked as a fitter all my life. Put everything I had into that house. And my fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded in the settlement. She's blowing spicks two at a time while I'm at work. And she gets the house. Yeah, I burnt it all right. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. Sorry, Hot damn. You did the right thing. 
<laughs> Phelps is like, excuse me? <laughs> what? Do you know Matthew Ryan? No. Don't know the name. Oh, stop lying. You and Ryan are fifth columnists. And how do you figure that, wise guy? What proof do you have? Been following me to meetings? So you've just proved it then. We found a pamphlet in your locker, Clemens. We can add your name to the register. Huack might want to interview you. That shit was from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. Drives me nuts. He's got it in for the company. Does he? All right, Clemens. You're off the hook for the moment. Can I get back to work now? Let's get out of here, Phelps. Sure. He ain't our guy. Thank you. Next one, we shall go to. We'll go to this guy. Farley's on the run. He might be packing heat. He's wanted for murder. We say we take the doubt out of the equation and let him have it. You nervous? It's been a while. You were in combat. Mm -hmm. In 1917. You know, I never fired my weapon in the line of duty. Chocolate. That's nothing to be ashamed of. I hope your piece is still serviceable, Herschel. I may be old and out of practice, but I'm still a Marine, Phelps. <laughs> it would be better for our case if we could bring him in, Herschel. Uh, this one. Oh. I heard 49. I don't know what's going on with that, but I heard 49. <laughs> ah. Take it easy, Phelps. Take it easy. In one piece. running forever well, can we stop or I will shoot haha <laughs> got it hey we didn't sh we didn't sh shoot in that time <laughs> honest I didn't get him I'm gonna take a wild guess you're the same Reginald Farley the Detroit police have an outstanding war and I how am I doing so far I need a lawyer before I talk to any of you Reginald Barley, you're under arrest for committing a series of arsons. You're also Get under arrest for murder. The Detroit PD will be putting in a request for your extradition. Until then, your guess is arson. You, you can't hang that rap on me. Be quiet. Well, we be are. Be thankful we don't okay. shoot you. Are all the cops in this town crazy? Take him away, officer. Right next to us. Why did I get back into my car? It's right there. Dweeb. But if he, if he was right next to us. Are you Matthew Ryan? Who's then. <sighs> Detective Phelps and Biggs. Arson squad. Surely he heard the gunshots. You heard the man. Just put this stuff in the car and I'll be right with you. Hold it, Ryan. I said, son of a bitch. That's why you go to him. Those are GI's backyards he's crashing through. The damage is only cosmetic. He's a one man wrecking ball. Move in. I'll take out the man. <laughs> Lay into his wheel well. Come on. I'm, I'm trying. I hit a car. To kill those men. They'll get out of the way. Only if they hear him coming. Close in, Phelps. We need to take Ryan down before he hurts somebody. I'm doing it. I need to be closer, Phelps. Get it. He flipped his own car. I didn't need to do nothing. Okay. Just 
you sh Show me your hands! I didn't shoot then. That wasn't me. Hmm. See why'd you run? Why you didn't you have run? to run, did you? I was scared. You got a reason to be scared, Ryan? Matthew Ryan, I'm arresting you on suspicion of committing a series of arsons. Okay. And now we gotta interrogate them all. We have three suspects. Yeah, exactly. Sports None of that like is yet. my I think it's one of the other two guys. Let's get to the station and close this case. It's not my fault, okay? None of it is my fault. I didn't mean to do it. It just it it just happened, you know. Get out of my way. I'm gonna go interview some fools who keep lying to me. Whoop. Oh, for God's sakes. Sorry. All these detective skills to the test. I have two suspects. Felt you got nothing. Biggs, Ryan's waiting for you in interview one. Farley's in two. Hey, Hopkins, you practicing your one, asshole routine again? One. Come on, Phelps. Is in one. Okay, I need to write that down. Cause, uh. Number one, okay, we'll interview Ryan first. No, that's two. Yeah, I want to make homicide. You know, you've got it made if you can get to that task. Where's number one? Oh, it's. <laughs> Idiot. It's right here. You're Save right, yourself mate. some time and get this thing off your chest. <laughs> if that's your opening gambit, you better try again. Hi. Okay. Literature, literature, sure. So you want to change the world, Ryan? Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your part? Yes, I am. Does that include sabotaging water heaters to destroy a company? I have no idea what you're talking about. This is industrial sabotage, Ryan. It's all part of your campaign. Mm -hmm. You're delusional, detective. What campaign? Your locker is full of pamphlets. Clemens told us how you were always foisting them on people. He did people. something. Sure. I it was one of yours. A guy has to do <laughs> something. Insta heat heaters break down every day. They're still peddling the same lousy design that they lifted from Hephaestos. Insta heat bought out Hephaestos. Them, Vulcan, Pyro, and a bunch of other companies. And you still work for them. A the guy has to work. And the directors of the company. How do you feel about them these days? You work it out. Model 70. You know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve of a Model 70 heater? No, I don't. Stop your lying. If you know enough to tell us the goddamn job, truth. You know enough to do that repair. You're lying, Ryan. And how do you think you can prove that? Your boss at Instaheat said that you've all been trained to do it. It's a common repair. Yeah, that's you right. A liar. Okay, so I know how it's done. But what would be the point? You just <laughs> end up with a gas leak and then a small fire when you turn the pilot back on. It's because he knows he they're going to lie. <laughs> so he's preparing himself. Spread. What was the cause of the fire in your own home, Ryan? I won't tell you. 
Redevelopment. What can you tell me about the suburban redevelopment fund? Nothing. I think suburban is a fun for your like preparing himself. He's like arranging for people to light in town. Well, you burn their it. houses down. And he's trying so hard not suburban? to like lash out at them. What's that got to do with me? I would. Farley's bilk. He's the one with the cozy agreement with those fascists. Murder charge. You have a history of violence. I have no such thing. Yes, you do. You're lying, Ryan. And how exactly are you gonna prove that? You got a criminal record. Idiot. You were charged with attempted murder, Ryan. It was a court case. No criminal liability was the verdict. They said that they couldn't have known that the faulty heater installation would cause a fire. All I know is I lost my whole family. And the company that was responsible got away with it. What would you do? Which company? Asbestos Water Heater Company. Okay. Believe. That's it for the moment, Ryan. So I can go? Sure. No. As soon as your red friends storm the building and carry you out, you'll keep your seat until we decide how long to lock you up for, knucklehead. Whoop. Mouthpiece store stripped off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. The procedure says now we the eliminate DNA all of the head. suspects. Let's speak to Varley. Let's talk to Varley. Hello. How you doing? We have Matthew Ryan in custody, Varley. I think all we need to do is ask him about this and he'll write you out. Fuck Ryan, that pinko bastard. Oof. Sawyer residence. Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? Family by the name of Sawyer? Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. Oh, thanks, Nightbot. That's a lie. Why are you lying to me, Barley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? <laughs> How can you prove that I was? Because there's a heater that's serviced by you. Your name is on the inside door of their water heater. Okay. <laughs> you got me there. Suburban, Stupid. Yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweep. I think he played him though. Because he still wouldn't sell. Of course not. Where it is, you're in the pocket of some property developer? <laughs> Never. I got prints of it. How did Suburban put the squeeze on you? Did they find out about your record? There is no way you can link me to Suburban. You're wasting your time. But there's a statement by the guy. <laughs> Ryan says you offered to cut him in on the kickbacks they were offering. I'll testify in court. Suburban, they got real time pressure on getting some of the big developments finished. There's some big date that they can't afford to miss. Mm. So yeah, I took their money. But so did a lot of guys, all right? Carpenters, electricians, plumbers. It's no big conspiracy. Okay. Model 70. What would reversing the diaphragm of an Insta Heat Model 70 do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. Out of your mind? I don't believe you, Varley. I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. I think you're out of your mind. Where is the evidence that I have done anything to contribute to this fire? Because huh? you got mosquito coils. Arsonists use cigarettes and mosquito coils as time delay fuses. We found an open box of mosquito coils in your locker. Well, hang on. Those things, they belong to Ryan, all right? He asked me to hold them because his locker was full of mm -hmm. stupid pamphlets. I thought he used them for camping. Okay. Let's 
still think We're done for now. Ryan did it. So what happens? You're either going back to Detroit to face a murder rap, or you're staying here to answer for these arsons. Okay. Let's go charge. Let's go charge Ryan. I think he did it. I think he's the man. Why am I stuck on that? Mouthpiece or strips off me at the Grand Cup. You idiot. Matthew Ryan, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. Yeah, that's right. innocent man away here. You hear me? I didn't set any fires. I didn't kill that family. My notes say you did. My little book full of all my clues, no one knows. Hi. What you did to your wife and kids is not American. My wife threw me out. Did I ask for your opinion? You're here to listen to mine. What I was going to say before I was interrupted. Exactly, all the doodles. You did a good job on the Stephen Sawyer case. You can't you have a notebook for case. detective work if you don't doodle at oh, least by my hand, twice. <laughs> what you did is another case. Another case? God damn. We have time for another case. Definitely. We've got all the clues and all the questions. And we did a lot of damage. But we got five stars. Bing, 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 bing. Exactly. It doesn't matter how many, how much damage you do, <laughs> how much cars and pedestrians that you hit. It's all about getting the guy. <laughs> right? Bing. You're two blocks behind first and second. We have more buildings to clear. You know our orders, There's Sergeant. There's barely a building left standing or not on fire in your zone, Cole. Is your sector full of Japs? Questioning my command. The captain doesn't want anyone falling behind. Tell the captain we will yeah. join him when the job is done. Yeah. It's, it's all bad. Just give us the word, Sarge. We'll take care of him. He should be sectioned. That Jap lover's a fucking liability. We're here to kill Japs, not our own people. Starcross, son of a bitch. No one wants to serve under him. He's bad fucking luck. Can it? We've a job to do Ooh, here. Oh, Mr. Wazzo. If I can live with I've it, just you can tagged too. you in something about the new Batman Joker. Could be something interesting for you. <laughs> Woo! Origami. Oh, oh, damn. I used to be able to do that. That was a very useless skill I had in my past life. Get out there and find out what you can. <laughs> the address is 650 North Hobart. Ah, oh, we gotta go. Hello, man. Those poor kids losing everything like that. Yes. Well, it's been coming up, I think, from last night till today, that there's. There's a lot of hype on it. You hear about Rancho Escondido? Are we having a conversation, Vic? Okay, fuck it. We get I'm teasing you, Herschel. Tell me about it. 
the new housing development. There's a lot of the comments say like it's, it's very good in the light. GIs are ready it's a lot this darker. Developers gonna have some very angry customers. Shit about Jeff. The arson desk has been trying to nail that son of a bitch for years. He's still in custody, Herschel. Wanna bet? Fella kicked him loose already. Can't hold him for misdemeanor cigarettes and matches. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Damn you. I didn't mean it, okay. I okay. I haven't watched it yet. I've just been seeing it and I was like, oh, this is perfect time to tag in it because, like, you're off and you can watch it. Sort of thing. Okay, let's go and crack this case. Do, 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 do. How far away is this thing? Oh, okay, it's not. <laughs> it's me complaining about it. In reality. It's right here. Ooh, it's a big house as well. I hope you guys have strong stomachs. Do you have a name? Morelli, Mike. We recovered a picture of the family. Okay. Anything else? Be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's the expert. Hi. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? Ooh. I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. They wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved them into this room. After. Why would somebody do that? It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? What are we doing? Frere effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. Let's look around. I don't think we need to kind of see that anymore. I'm very sorry. Probably not. There's something else in that room we missed. Ah, Felter. You ever think about how many people have died in this world? how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them bigs no i have not Just show some respect i'm sorry it's our boy i think he watches the fires i think the sawyer fire went wrong so what about the guy we have in jail phelps we got the wrong guy that doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building what would make anyone do that i don't know for the fire or his mistake this guy wants to burn houses not families he expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. Probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. You could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? Sure, it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like cupid dolls? Might fit. I said I was sorry. I don't think we could ever prove it. 
There's very little evidence. Evidence? Oh. Albert, check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phil. So I'll get back. Feed the rest of us, Cole. You better find out what's eating Biggs. I'm sorry, Biggs. So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and you won't be pretty much longer. We can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the second Marines at Bella Wood. The things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire, screaming for a way out. Yeah, I'm sorry. This guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. You get this? I I got it loud and clear. You remember the list from the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their name was on that list. Christ. We should take a look around, work the name, see what they know. I'll go across the street. Okay. No, we haven't finished with clues yet. I'm sure there's more clues. You don't look like a fireman, son. Nope. Bum, bum. Looks like the same model. Newspaper. How did you get my number, Ira? At first, I didn't understand you, but now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, Doctor. You are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, Doctor. I'm helping people be together. This guy's a little bit creepy. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fire should end now. They have served their purpose. Oh, the fires are only beginning, Doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Everything will be erased. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you help me to find it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've never seen Silence of the Lambs. So I'm not entirely sure. I'm very sorry. Hello, sir. <clears throat> LAPD, can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Hello, Foreman. sir. Dudley Foreman. Mm. Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. You bad. You didn't like Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. Oof. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. Problem is, it's cute to um. You said someone is knocking. Keep the down fun favorites, don't they? See what they can feet. do with it. You must know. They're billboards. <clears throat> that Monroe character. <laughs> Crimson chink on door. <laughs> We've had an offer for the house. Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. Whatever you thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. 
Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. Stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. Close. You said the Morellis had won a weekend away. Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. Then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Well, maybe they could... You didn't enter yourself? Put something I'd in soon. Good, because the the there's a whole lot of, like, you know, villains within, you know, the Batman era. Oh my god. Someone was keeping watch. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Brian looks distinctive. Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. Boot prints. I would know that in print anywhere. Excuse me, sir. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. You sure, Mr. Stop Woman. <clears throat> there are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny, though. A tall, else? skinny guy. Orange lumber jacket, beat up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. Thanks for your time, Mr. Mm -hmm. Sure. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you pick up? An older piece of paper. Looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Hmm. Paper cray. There's a legend about them. You fold one thousand. It was a very interesting a film, wish. wasn't it? Hey, don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. For what? For and don't forget, developments. in that era, he was still, you know. He was still a young child. Like Bruce Wayne. Oh. I see you already have one. Mm -hmm. When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. Hot damn, okay. True. Okay, let's go jump it. <laughs> I need an address for a property developer. Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. The address One is seven forty eight North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. <laughs> if you have a message, contact it's, Captain McKelvey immediately. He did do a good job. Thanks. Can you put me through operation? I think he played it really well. It, it felt like, you know, we, we watch a lot of, you know, when it's on, like, the movie channels, we watch, like, a lot of the Batmans. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. You're about to do what? Leland Monroe? He's a yeah. But it's like Commander, we have a line of inquiry. Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. You can't can't beat the fact. But do you understand? So we, yes, we watch sir. a lot of Batman yeah. and stuff. Was it we watched um The Dark Knight Was it yesterday? Us off over it just it didn't feel that like when we watched the new one it felt more like darker. You know the place. Sure, corner of Fountain and Wilton. 
Let's go. There was a lot we of are not stuff going. To... Yes, we are. You just won't let this go, will you, Cole? Huh? You know they're involved somehow. You expect me to turn my back on it? You're a big boy. It was, it was a long yeah, film, and usually I complain about long films. Because, you know, like, sometimes it's just, this is long. But it didn't feel like anything needed to be cut. It felt like it was all relevant. It was all good. Oh, you know, I'd be a shit film critic, wouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, it was good. Yeah, it's, it's all right. Yeah. So like, if I go to a concert or something, it's like I come out after. It's like, oh, hey, was that? And it's like, it's amazing. It's like, but you've said that about the last ten concerts you've been to, but it was amazing. <laughs> I could never write a review for anything. At least we'll know where we've been if we try to retrace our steps. Yes. Be a tell ball. you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not this is safe, America, sir. dickhead. Now step back or I'll lock you up for Smart a fight. Son of a bitch. You sorry sack. Oh, hold on. I will read that. Hey. We're going to have to pass by this poor I think it was good as well. There was like there was some parts in it that didn't feel like you know, like serious. Those parts in it where it was like, if you look at this guy, he, you know, as much as he's playing the role, you know, it's like he's still learning through it. Where am I going exactly? This side. It's like it's still it's still a human being. He, you know, he doesn't have the superhuman powers and stuff, which More I felt was like dust. it was good. It was very good. Me, but it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Doesn't appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. Maybe it was built on the cheap. I prove it. If we're paying a visit to Alicia and ruining my career, let's bite the bullet and get on with it. Fast. Let's make him drive. I can't be asked this time. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? You know exactly where we're going. Come on then, buddy boy. Let's go. Let's go fight somebody. Yes, we do. We're always fighting people. It's got ruined somebody's day. Hello. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. 
Do you have an appointment? With a police lady. You don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Send them through. Thank you. And that's our cue. Thanks, ma'am. Ma'am. Hi. I'd like to speak to Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is with weeks. And well, you just told us to come up. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? I find that offensive. You have every right to. This is getting us nowhere, miss. Encino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. <laughs> Come into my office. Thank you. That was really shit, but yeah. <laughs> uh. Like a cigar. Drink, boy. Sure, I'll have a scotch. Biggs! We're investigating a series Hello. of domestic <laughs> fires, Mr. Monroe. Terrible, boy. How can I help? Uh, link to Austin. Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? The coinky dink. Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using Weber. Go on, metal. We found a family burnt out in their home. Boom, boom, Another boom. house burned to the ground. Another Elysian Fields flyer. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Point is, every time we find a family barbecue, we find one of your flyers. Is that good advertising? It's true. Travel contest. What do you know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. Oh, what are you trying to get at? Detective. I'm not familiar with that one. Level with me, Mr. Monroe. You know all about the vacation offers. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. Your face is all over the flyers, Mr. Monroe. You know about the prizes, and you're aware that they get given to holdouts. Idiot. My face is the brand. It's on all our advertising. Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police are part of the suburban redevelopment? Plan? I don't care. Do you want to accuse them of murder as well? Yes. That's where we're going straight after this. Uh, land. Make offers to buy <laughs> houses in areas where fires have been recorded. Hydrate time, people. Are you Stay hydrated. That have I'm a drink. Burning people out of Do their it. homes so that I can sell them new ones. What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around. Thanks, them. Mr. Weather. And just finds a way. That's the American way. Come on, Mr. So you expect bad. me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually Ooh. confined to the waste basket of history. To answer your question, yes, yes, we would build around them if we had to. Most people see sense. Okay. Rancho. What's oh. Elysian Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? One of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend, or was before the oh, unfortunate conflagration. It met with building code regulation. Absolutely. Only the best for our returning hero. But it didn't, not did it. You're lying. It didn't. There's something didn't. out of kilter about it's that shit. development. Son, I've had enough of you and your fidgety friend. There's no your way fidgety friend. you can prove that my materials were inferior. I'm no expert, but I think we'll find that the bricks being used on those houses are undersized and the mortar is faulty. 
and there's no wall ties connecting the masonry to the frame. Every building is built to a budget, boys. Those but that's shit. buildings were inspected and fully insured by California Fire and Light. Oh, is it now? Investment of that magnitude demands more. Do you think they'd vouch for the building without examining them? The arsonists. Do you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. We ain't gonna tell you anyway. Suppose it could be any of them. I have a list of their names if it would be of any help. That would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension? Oof. Glad to be of help, officer. Thank you. What's the story? Any of these names ring a bell? Herbert Chapman is on this list. Find the phone. We need to know where we're at with Chapman. Let's go look at this Chapman guy. My boss is a fine man. Excuse me, honey, I need to use your phone. She's like, what? Operator, give me R and I. I'm just sad here trying to do some work. You, now. you run up and take Bell, my phone. One, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? How can I help, detective? Can you check whether we are still holding a Herbert Chapman? Let me find out for you. He was released this morning, detective. Damn. I'm sorry, detective. Not your fault. Can you give me a last known address and put out an APB on the guy? I'll get back to you, Detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. Thanks for your help. Dun, dun, dun. Well, I love the chase till the minute I win it. A beautiful face to learn love for me in I can't believe you just poked her like that, you know. Me your heart, and baby, I'll be I know. Cause I always kill the things I love. Him, kill him. Drink Shoot me in the head. The no. Not even for old time's sake. Not even for that. You're not gonna ask me why I'm here? I wouldn't give you the pleasure. Get around. She's in fine voice this evening. I wonder how the commander would feel Save about the threats for someone who cares about the boy. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. Stay away from Elysian Fields. What are you gonna do you about it? Dob me in again. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. I love you. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea, Roy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Thanks for the drink, Cole. Shoot me in the head. Go on. As he turns around, just like, pop him. You get the message about Monroe? Yeah. Earl delivered it. You? Kelvin. I started making noises about my pension. Sorry about that, Earl. I didn't mean to drag you into this. Save it, Phelps. Monroe's an ass boy. Ooh. So was Earl. And so was McKelty when it's all said and done. KGPL calling car 11K. 11K. 11K, go ahead. 11K, the last known address of suspect Herbert Chapman is 650 North Kingsley Drive in Wilshire. Roger Thank that, you. KGPL. 11K en route. Let's go pick him up. You fought at Sugarloaf, didn't you? I did. 
but I don't like to talk about it. You come across a guy called Jack Kelso out that way? You know Jack Kelso? He's an insurance investigator over at California Fire and Life. Oh, I bet he. Our paths cross from time to time. For some reason, seeing you makes me think of him. Has uh, Jack spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf? Or the rest of the campaign? Jack keeps stung just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. Stum. You gotta respect that. Speaking of riddles, man. Do we do we do? Are there yet? Feels weird with no music on. What? We made it. Didn't crash either. Huh? Damn. Hello, sir. We're looking for Herbert Chapman. I'm looking for him too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah, he's out somewhere. There's some kind of problem. Take a look at the car. Let's see what he's hauling around. Motive, opportunity, and hard evidence. Do, do, do. He's clearly armed. Definitely gives him opportunity. Dun, dun, dun. Hold it, cool. There he is. It's Chap. He's coming out of the laundry. Shit, he's seen us. Oh, shit. Cops. Again. Let's go kick his ass. Son of a bitch, he must have caught the trolley. We gotta move fast, Cole. I'll call this in, get some cars dispatched. Car 11K calling KGPL. 11K requesting assistance. In pursuit of suspect what? aboard the 1110 University streetcar. Currently heading east on Melrose Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of car and driving dangerously. Why? Wow, sorry. Why is there so many cars on the other side of the road? Stop it! Look, Cole, the side plate's gone. Give me closer. I think I got a shot here. He's looking at me. Hold him 
tight, Cole. End of the line, you little prick. Come on, Cole. Looks like we have our man, Cole. Well done. I'm not so sure. Oh, thanks. The captain seemed to have his own agenda. There seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are you talking about? Fires benefit a lesion in some way. I see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. The evidence is good for Chapman. Hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. Did it. Another case solved. Nice work, gentlemen. Thanks. Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Anyone else Jeez. but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery award. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. Couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. And I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? Well... Be calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> A letter from Lou. His insurance policy named me. Benefit. I mean, I, I see he isn't missing his wife at all. Moved on pretty quick. The roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. Absolute. I think there's something dirty about Alicia. Absolute hideous man. I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator. Jack Kelso, and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? You want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He is a friend of yours. One idiot. Hates my guts. Elsa, we could take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. I really would, but it's too late. Years too late. It. We did it. We did no city damage either. Holy shit, can you believe it? Exactly. Even I can't believe it. It's ridiculous. Mr. Kelso? That's what the sign on the door says, miss. Don't stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. We don't start a new case yet because that is for tomorrow. So, yeah, we don't want to start any more new cases now. Like, I say, I believe we are very close to an end. So, please bear with. I think we've got another couple of days. And then, don't worry, LA Noir has finished. And then we've got our new game. But, I'm thinking Monday or whichever day. We'll do something different than the story that I'm planning because I said I don't want to just do one day and then I'll, I'll break for a couple of days. So next Thursday is going to be a new story, but for the meantime, another couple of days that I know, and then we can have some fun. So awesome indeed! You got a lot to look forward to, and I'm excited for it. So thank you all for being here. Thank you for staying and being awesome and talking and chatting and being here and all that jazz oh thank you <laughs> oh you're so sweet to me but we'll be back tomorrow 
with some more detective work. So I'll grab your hat, it's going to be a wild ride, I think. I'm actually, I actually said that without messing up, quite proud of myself. I'm waffling now, please excuse me. So stay safe, stay hydrated, look after yourselves. And we shall be back tomorrow. So see you later, alligator. Bye.